Welcome to the Camp Creek Lower Timber Burn. Okay guys, so we've got a roughly 20 acre timber burn today. Um, we got a north facing slope and we're staying at the southeast corner, roughly the southeast corner of this unit. The goal today is going to be obviously to burn all the way down to that field. That's gonna be the north end of the burn. What we're dealing with today is a north facing slope and we've got a south wind. So as you can feel like this is the gustiest part of the day and it's still pretty mild in here. So what we're really gonna be doing as holders is we're gonna be watching across the line, but I wanna just like Everybody take a moment while you're holding to get out of the smoke and step back and just really be watching like distantly. If we get any embers, any hot leaves that start going anywhere outside of the fire here, we need to be able to jump on them quick. Um, this leaf litter is pretty tame, like there's a lot of beach. So if there is a spot at any point, I think we can jump on it pretty quickly and put it out. But we're gonna be putting a bunch of heat up in the air today, guys. So just really, the more we can keep eyes distantly outside the unit, the better off we'll be. Call anything out if you find it to somebody with the radio. Everybody cool on the plan? Camp Creek Lower Timber, let's do it. minutes into the burn here so what we're doing is we're trying to black in the top corner of this burn and that's a pretty slow process it's basically the most dangerous part of the fire we're trying to make sure the fire doesn't run uphill and cross that so we're moving slowly along letting that fire just work its way a little off the trail and Larry's doing the same from his side Kyle's sitting back there as lookout we probably got a third of the way across this line so we're just gonna keep progressing like that and uh, we'll catch you in a few All right, we're on the southeast corner of the burn. This is our east holding line that drops all the way down to the field edge. We got a pretty good, what we call a candlestick, a big dead tree that's within reach to where if it keeps burning, it's gonna fall onto our fire break. If it continues to burn, it would go over the break. So we got the bottom of it wetted down. We always keep saws sharp, ready to go, gassed up. So we're gonna go cut this thing down, get it on the ground, fully extinguish it. That way there's no chance that those fires are going all the way over our holding line. We got a really hard line that we've worked to make. So this is like our one hazard. So we're just taking care of it as soon as we see it. Clips in here with the flow zone, just soaking this thing. You can't put enough water on these things. Spots like this right here, it's all that stuff. It's still just hot and it's all up in there. So you almost can't do enough. But what we do is isolate them like this, get them out away from stuff, make sure there's no other fuels for it to catch on to. And then like here in this case, we actually cut it, separate it from that one. So it's at least contained right here with nothing around it that can catch. way out here on the northeast corner of the fire. We got this lit here. This is the corner right here. We just lit the northeast corner down this entire east holding line. And it's all backing now, pulling into, into the interior of this fire. The hottest spot's probably up in here, so we're finding that the whole fire is really wanting to create its own draft. But pretty good little run, kind of pick it up here on this bank. That's really cool. Um, what's driving that is some wind, and we need the wind. All right, we hit a super fun part of the day. We're out here on the north end of the burn and we're just pretty much watching the show. The whole burn's pretty much been executed. Leaf litter's pretty tame in there, so we got fire that's really all over this hill just doing work and we're just kind of waiting, monitoring. 
watching like the big picture around the whole area from nice safe spots like this, staying out of the smoke, staying comfortable. Um, probably gonna burn for another 30 minutes or so. So we'll probably get you another uh, update here at the very end, but we're just hanging out enjoying the show. Trying not to get into the beer cooler too soon here. Hope you guys enjoyed that footage of the burn. Super happy with how it all turned out. The burn was super successful, super safe, and it was just fun getting a big group of people out there. If you need help with the prescribed burn here in Ohio, we're happy to help you. Jump onto the website, nativelandscapesohio.com. Get a hold of us in the contact section there. If you're new to the channel, be sure to hit that like button, hit a subscribe. We'll see you guys on another video here soon. Thank you.